Hello, Paul's here. How are you today? Well, today I hope you are happy and fine. Today is the 20th of August, Thursday. We are going to, well, remember you have to hand in composition number nine today. We are going to revise conditional number two, uh, relative clauses, class own examples. Uh, read and highlight the grammar charts on page uh, 174. And then we are going to work on um, unit 10 uh, with pages 117, 118, 19, 20, and 21. As homework, you have to do the activity book, pages 76, 77, 78, 79, only the exercises in bracket. Yes? Okay? Happy weekend. Well, good. So, shall we go to the unit? Yes? Okay. I will project something. Yes. Well, this is a very um, important uh, marathon that is run in Morocco. Yes, okay. I think it is organized by, uh, uh, by a French person. I don't remember its na his name. But uh, in this marathon, um, the runners, runners in general, well, the runners that uh, run this marathon, I was going to say that one in a specific. Yes, this is the marathon. Yes. Maybe you best. Sables, yes, I'm pronouncing this in uh, in English, but you know this is a French pronunciation. Yes, I think. Yes, okay, I will check. Yes, if I write. Yes. Okay, um, I will check. Okay, French, yes, okay. Uh, it says Marathon des Sables or MIDS, French for Marathon of the Sands. Yes, okay, ah, yes, okay. Marathon of the Sands, no, a Sahara Marathon. Yes, okay. Well, this is very important. Yes, okay. Because we can look and check. Yes, because if I have to think and tell you next class, yes, I, I will, I will be, uh, I will be worried about that. Yes. So you can see in this picture a lot of marathon. And the, the thing, the interesting thing in this marathon is that they have to take their tents, their food, their drinks, yes, and advance, yes, and go on with the marathon, yes. Okay, would you like, you know, they have a kind of rucksack, yes, and they go. Would you like to run this mar marathon? How long do you think they train? Yes, how long do you think they train for running uh, this uh, marathon? Yes, do you think it could be um, uh, the sun could be one of the main problems when uh, somebody run, runs this marathon? Okay, uh, what are the problems, yes, do you think they have to face when they run uh, this marathon? Okay, well, um, you're going to describe the picture at home. Describe this picture at home. Yes, and now we're going to go to a listening. Yes, okay. Good, good, good. Uh, exercise two and exercise three. Yes, all right. Good, good, good. Think about the problems they have to face. Face, yes, think about that. What problems? What other problems? Yes, 
do you think they have to um, face? Yes? All right. There we go. Well, one of the problems could be the sun. Yes, okay. One of the problems could be the sun. Yes, they could get sunburned. Yes, okay. Uh, they have to drink a lot of water. Yes, okay. Uh, what about uh, animals there? Yes, snakes, for example. Yes. Then we, we go there. Yes, snakes, yes, okay, um, water, yes, they have to carry water, yes, okay, the sun, they could be, uh, be sunburned, yes, okay, get sunburned, what else? Um, we're going to read them, yes, okay, about this marathon, ready? So, we're going to listen to an extract again and make notes uh, to listen to an extract from the podcast about the marathon and how many of your ideas from exercise one are mentioned, okay? Unit 10 opener. This man is Steve Holman. He's 52 years old and his friends think he's crazy. Why? Because he's running 200. We are going to track 80. Right from the Unit page. 10 opener. This man is Steve Holman. He's 52 years old and his friends think he's crazy. Hmm. Why? Because he's running 200 kilometers in the Sahara Desert. Okay, 200 kilometers in the Sahara Desert. Yes, and you know, his friends think he's crazy. Yeah, I wouldn't like to go there. Yes, I, I would like to run a marathon. I know I have to train a lot, little by little, yes, but this kind of marathon, no, it would be impossible because I am afraid of snakes, yes, um, oh my god, it would be difficult. And he has to carry all his food with him in a backpack that weighs 12 kilos. You know, 12 kilos, yes, so imagine running, going to, participating in that uh, marathon and carrying 12 kilos, okay, with you, but they are trained, of course they are trained. With the temperature hitting 38 degrees, he struggles up enormous sand dunes, sometimes crawling on his hands and knees. Mm. The this is the annual Marathon des Sables, one of the key events Sables. on the ultra running calendar. Any race longer than a regular 42 kilometer marathon is called ultra running. But there is more to this kind of running than simply the distance. Ultra runners push the human body to incredible limits and learn that it's stronger than you'd imagine. Another ultra runner is Leslie Antonis, who ran 160 kilometers in 34 hours at the age of 47. It's amazing what the human body can do. Yes, it's amazing. Yes, I agree uh, with her because she says that they push their bodies uh, to limits, yes, to extreme limits, yes, okay? And it's amazing how um, a well-prepared, a well-trained body can react to this, yes, okay? Well, let's go to exercise three, okay? It says, you are going to listen again at home, yes, and make notes about these things. Yes, the ultra running appeared to you. Why? Why not? The, the age of the runner, the distances, three, anything else that interested you. Okay. Uh, the, the, the audio mentions a, a runner uh, of 52 years old and 47 years old. Yes. The audio, number two, the audio mentions 42 kilometers, the distance of a regular marathon. And 160 kilometers, the distance covered, yes, in the marathon, the south, yes, okay. 
okay? And um, well, in exercise three, are you interested in another thing, in other aspects about uh, this? Um, I would like you to be here to discuss about this, yes? But uh, what other things are you interested in, yes? Okay, well, then we have uh, other stream sports include bungee jumping, uh, base jumping, cave diving, free climbing. Have you tried any of them? Why do you think people push their bodies to the limit? Can you think of any dangers in pushing your body to stream? Yes, okay. Well, uh, I have seen uh, this um, um, exercise, this kind of uh, classes, uh, I went out. Um, um, CrossFit, yeah, okay. Uh, I think people uh, in these exercises, what I have been told, what I have seen on TV, sometimes they vomit when they are in kind of uh, competitions. And I think they really push their bodies to limits. And sometimes uh, the thing is that they can break their legs or some part hurt some part of their bodies and they can't continue doing it anymore. So it could be a big disadvantage. I couldn't do that, yes, because I like um, exercising, but not uh, pushing my body to uh, a limit, extreme limits, yes, okay? Well, so we are going to see um, uh, different, uh, different um, projections of uh, stream sports, and I want you to tell me which one would you like to do and why. Then we're going to our revised conditional. Yes, okay. If you have the opportunity, yes, if you have the opportunity, remember, conditional two, yes. Conditional two is uh, if plus past plus root plus infinitive, yes, so if you have the possibility of practicing any of these extreme sports, which, why, which one would you practice and why? Yes, okay, wait a minute. So you have. Indoor climbing, inline skating, yes, okay. Mountain biking, yes, snowboarding, sandboarding, rock climbing, mountain boarding, uh, ice climbing, rodeo, uh, BMX, yes, car racing, yes, uh, motorcycling, motocross, yes, speed skiing, uh, string skiing, freestyle skiing, yes, okay, well, um, I couldn't practice any of uh, these, any, any extreme sport, if you, if I uh, have the possibility, yeah, if I had to do it, well, maybe I could try indoor climbing, yes, okay, but um, I'm not very interested in extreme sports, yes, okay, uh, I like sporting, uh, doing sports, but not extreme sports, yes, okay, Good. Uh, well, we have other ones, but this is a not a very clear picture. Yes, choose one, and at home I want you to say which one would you like to practice and why. Yes, okay? Good. Well, um, if you have the possibility, could you like to uh, practice sandboarding? If you have the possibility, could you like to practice mountain boarding? Yes, choose one and say why could you like to uh, practice this sport, yeah? Okay, so I will say one part of the sentence and at home you will complete the other parts, yes? Are you ready? This could be a little practice of conditional, yes? Okay, good. Yes, okay, so... Um, yes, uh, 
Um, so, what would you, yes, the question is, uh, then I will go to what could you, yes. Uh, if you could uh, start, this is a question, yes, complete the other part. If you could start a new life, what things could you change? Yes, and I want you to make a list, yes, if you could start, yes, okay, a new life, what aspects could you change, yes, okay, if I have to start, oh my god, the T, start a new life, I would what? Yes, I would or I wouldn't. Um, oh my God! The thing is, I, I I haven't got many. I was thinking about that when I was uh, writing my plan. But the, the thing is that I haven't got many things um, I regret about my life. Uh, I had to, if I had to start a new life, I would, um, well, I could uh, study something uh, related to, to uh, fashion, yes, um, well, related to fashion, yes, um, designing things, uh, clothes, uh, um, but not only the design, not only design, but also I could study something uh, related to um, um, helping, yes, related to, as regard, um, related to uh, fashion, but for helping, I found the word, for helping people, yes, to decide, yes, what they should wear, Yes, okay, a kind of uh, fashion advisor, yes, something like this, yes, okay, to advise something related uh, to fashion, but to advise people on how uh, they should look, what uh, clothes they should wear, um, related to the different kind of events uh, they, they have to go, for example, yes, um, I, I would study. Of course, yes, let me say, if I had to start a new life, I could be, I would teach the same. Yes, I would teach. Yes, I would teach English, I would teach, but not math, yes. Um, any subject, yes, but not math, because math is very difficult for me. Yes, it doesn't mean that I don't, uh, I don't try when I have to understand something. Yes, I do, I make the effort. Yes, I do my best, but I could teach. Yes, if I had to start a new life, I could teach again. I could teach again. Yes, related to fashion, but uh, to advise about fashion. Advice, to give advice, to give advice. Remember, advice with C. Yes to give advice, yes, to people, yes, okay, uh, but always, uh, I could study always something related to, um, uh, no, I would, uh, I could be always in contact with people, yes, okay, because I like the social part, uh, talking to other people, um, explaining things, yes, okay, I think I am good at that, yes, okay, uh, well, tell me, I want you to tell me, if you could change your life, you would be a different person, you would start, uh, you wouldn't fight, you wouldn't discuss, no fight, discuss with your best friend, yes, okay, and you would change your parents, you would change uh, your school, you would change your kindergarten, yes, okay, you think about that. And then, what would you miss about your own life? Well, I haven't, the thing is that I haven't, um, I, I wouldn't change a lot of things. Um, 
But if, if, if I choose another career, if I, uh, if I wouldn't choose uh, the teaching career, I, I think I could choose, uh, I could uh, miss, I would miss my student. Because it happened, yes, it had happened to me uh, years before, yes, when I got married, you know, I stopped teaching because we were preparing everything for moving to Europe, yes, and well, those uh, months, yes, until, yes, we put everything in order, the papers, yes, about my papers from the, my studies, yes, I really missed, you know, my students, but the, the, the idea of teaching, yes, so that's why I couldn't change anything. I would, uh, no, I wouldn't change. Yeah. Let me, we're going to talk because this video, the next video would, think, uh, would be about this, yes? If you have to change your life, what things would you change? And uh, what things um, would you miss from, about your, la your old life, yes? And there is a thing I could change. I think I could, if I had the opportunity again, if, if I were uh, younger, uh, if I was younger, I would change these parts. The part that I would go uh, to live uh, in Europe, I would live in Europe, but younger. I was young, but I would go younger, yes? Um, it could be a very great experience, because it was, in fact, a great, a great experience. But um, I think younger, yes, could be better, yes? I went there when I was 25 years old, but younger, yes? Okay, when you finish, you know, when you finish your uh, um, secondary school, study there. I could study abroad. It could be a great uh, idea, yes? Uh, because living abroad make you feel uh, more confident, um, may you be, makes you be more open-minded, um, you understand many things, you know other cultures, you know other people, so it, it is a very, uh, I encourage you to try, yes, and go and live abroad, yes, you miss sometimes your parents, your family and everything, but then on the other side, you have many other um, advantages, yes, positive things, yes, okay, well, so let's go to uh, 118 and 119. Yes, okay. You're going to do exercise one and two. It says, working pairs, discuss this question. Do you think the human race will ever be able? I'm on page 118 and 119. Yes, are you there? Okay. Well, and it says, do you think the human race will ever be able to live on another planet? What kind of thing might make life on another planet difficult for a human? Yes? Well, I think human is, um, it could be easy for them to adapt to the new place, um, to the new planet. Um, with the help, of course, of scientists. Um, I think friendship will exist there, yes, you will have friends, you will have your family, you will have your kind of house, yes, and they will get used to the place very soon, because I think human can adapt to situations easily. This is my point of view, I don't know what you think, okay? Well, so now is the time that you read the text. Do exercises one and two because that is the talking part. You remember that I talk a little and then you have to talk at home. Yes, because this is the class. The class is like this. Yes, and then do exercise two. From page 119, you will do exercise. Highlight the chart and you will do exercises six and eight. Yes, and I want you to highlight exercise 10 and 11. Yes, that is the oral. Yes, pónganle oral three minutes. Yes, okay. I, I, we talked about it a little. Yes, okay. Think of a place you'd like to live in. Yes, and make notes, note down five uh, reasons why you'd like to live there. Well, I like to live, 
Um, I would say this first, and then you say it at home. Then you will do exercises one and two from page 118, and uh, highlight the chart on page 119, that is a review, yes, okay? And uh, on conditional, number uh, two, and then you will do exercises six and seven, but first then highlight the speaking part and pongale. You have to write three minutes video because this will be the topic for the three minutes video from unit 10. But uh, first of all, you have to say at home which place could be. I don't have a name of the place, but uh, where I used to live, where I lived when I got married, it was Mallorca and it was a very ideal place. Uh, another place I would like to live hasn't got, I don't have the name, but it could be a place, of course, definitely near the beach because I, I feel very connected to the sea. Yes, um, although uh, I wasn't um, born near the sea because I was born in Formosa and it is near the river, but I feel very connected with water and especially connected to the sea. So I would, I would uh, definitely live uh, in a place near the beach. Um, what else? Because I love, I have a connection, I feel a connection, I feel connected with the sea. I feel relaxed when I am near the sea. Um, I like this climate, not very hot, not very cold. But uh, if you are near uh, the sea, it could be an advantage because you can go to the beach uh, and swim every day and uh, uh, spend a good time near the, the water. Um, what else? Um, I would live near the beach because um, I like wearing summer clothes and I could live near the beach uh, because I think people uh, near the beach uh, are like always happy maybe but not the beach that uh, places where have cold there is a sea there is a sea and they have cold climate yes but it has to be a warm climate yes okay not very hot not very cold yes okay when I know the name when I knew the name uh, if I knew the name, I would tell you. If when I knew the name, I would tell you. Yes, think about that. Yes, okay. Um, well, speak about that. Yes, and, and take into account that we are going to talk about this topic. Okay, well, so now is the time that you stop the video, do the activities and then listen to the answers. Okay, I will go to the answers. Okay, good. Um, well, what the book says, things that make life on another planet difficult, lack of oxygen or water, high or very low, low temperature and pressures, distance from our planet, lack of vegetation and other life, very high or very low levels of, of gravity. Well, that's why I say I don't agree very much. Yes, of course, there could be lack of oxygen yes, or water and everything, but with the head. It is supposed that if we go and live um, in another uh, planet, of course, it could be very, um, all the things like oxygen, lack of oxygen, water, high and low temperatures, uh, could be uh, managed, yes, it could be under the, um, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, Manage, I think, by these um, scientists. Yes, okay, it would be, yes, very everything arranged, yes, for us to live there. And I continue thinking uh, that human has uh, a big capacity to get used to uh, things, yes, in general. Okay, well, let, them, let me know what you think. Okay, exercise six. I would consider had, I would pay wasn't or weren't, three could be were able, four found couldn't be able, six was or were would miss, would happen didn't get on, where could you spend, was good they contact, yes, okay, and eight is 
up to you. If I was a tourist on a spaceship, I would make friends. <laughs> yes, I wouldn't um, think about planet Earth. I could uh, get used to the place soon. I'm very positive, optimistic. I might miss the activities I do here, but previously there is a contradiction. Yeah. Okay. Previously I said I could, I wouldn't think about planet Earth. Yes. Yeah? So I might try new food. Yes. Maybe that. Of course, there would be new food. Yes. Okay. Or pills. Maybe there 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 might be food. Yes, or peels, and you have to choose uh, between the two, or taking a peel or eating food, new food. Yeah, if I lived on a base on Mars as part of the first exploration, oh my God, I would, um, Maybe I would be tired of staying for, uh, uh, well, of course, this is not uh, living there. Yes, it is a, another question. This is an exploration. So I would miss my daughter. Yes, and my husband, of course. I wouldn't, um, I could, yes, I could uh, die because something was wrong. Yes, I might, uh, I might fall in love again in, in, in the base. Yes, okay, but I, I might not. Yes, of course I couldn't fall in love, but we are predicting, puede ser. okay? Well, um, the thing is that I haven't, uh, thought about being on it. I wouldn't go. Yes, but if I had to, yes, okay. Um, well, so uh, let's go to page 150, 120, and 121. And we have, uh, I want you to go to page 174 first and read the grammar chart on page 174. Yes, have you got your highlighter? Have you got your highlighter? All right, so this is a uh, very, 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 very interesting, yes, and uh, important that you highlight all the grammar there. Uh, we use defining clause, relative clauses, to say exactly which person, thing, or time you read it in your book we are talking about. So that's the, do that's the doctor that I saw on TV, yes, so a doctor is a person, yes, so that's the woman who I saw on the news, who I hate, who I admire, yes, so you use cool, yes, for people, you already know this, but this is a kind of revision. Yes, and then you have uh, that, you can use that here too, of course. Yes, for that, for people. And then you have that, that, which, or who. Yes, okay. Who, for things, the chart is, the, 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 the summary is very nice. Okay. For things, we use uh, that or which, that's the, that's the computer. Why do you see? I use. Which I use again. Which or that I use for my classes, for teaching. Yes, okay, and then you have uh, that of who already explained they are, and then you have that which and who when they are objects of the verb in the relative clause. Yes, you can leave it out. That's the per se I use for teaching. Yes, okay. Entonces, tenemos, dice que cuando, which or who, when they are the object of the verb, ¿sí? Son el objeto de este verbo, yes, ok, we can leave it out. Tiene sentido la frase y lo podemos sacar. That's the woman I saw, también se puede sacar, 
Yes, okay, is it clear? Y tenés ejemplos cuando lo podés sacar. The, she loves the flowers you bought. And you have subject, verb, again. Yes, okay. Uh, the person you know isn't here. That or who? Yes, and then you have whose. You remember? Uh, that, that's the dog whose owner is my student. Possessions. Yes, okay. Ese perro es de el chico que es mi alumno. Yes, to indicate possession. Yes, to talk about possession. Then you have where and when. Yes, okay. That's the hospital where I was born. Yes. Do you remember the moment when we met for the first time? Yes. You are right uh, with your mother. Yes. Okay. And I asked you many questions in the oral and I realized you were a diamond. Yes. Okay. Well, is it clear? And then you have, do you remember the moment where I decided? Ta, 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 the moment in which you decided. Yes. Okay. And you have in which, ahí ojo porque tenemos la preposición en la cual. Yes, in which you are right. Yes, okay, is it clear? So, highlight the charts again on page, first of all, highlight the chart at the end of the book of page 174 and then here too, okay? And we're going to do a listening. What do you think it shows? Yes, uh, it's a medal. Yes, um, uh, and I think it's the hand uh, of a robot. Yes, okay. So, uh, highlight the words there. Blades, uh, Paralympics, wheelchair. Yes, I really admire these people. Yes, okay. Because they, I think they have, they make a big effort um, for competing. But I think they are uh, really trained but not only uh, talking about the, the, their bodies, but train their minds to compete, yes, okay? Because I think they don't feel different from the other, from the rest, yes, okay? Well, so this is number one, yes, okay? Good, it says the photo shows some kind of award, yes, I said a medal, Possible for sport, being held, yes, it looks like being held by an artificial hand, yes, I thought it was a robot, yes, possibly a robot or some kind of mechanical tool, yes, and then we have an exercise too, we are going to listen to a program and you have to tick the topics, yes, you hear mentioned, okay, are you ready, good, there we go, 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 Track 82, Unit 10B. Now, I'm sure most of us are amazed when we watch the Paralympics and we see athletes who run a marathon on blades or play rugby in a wheelchair. Tonight on Channel 10, there's a documentary which features some famous Paralympians. Gail, you've seen a preview of the programme. Yes, Peter. The programme is a fascinating look at how medical science is changing people's lives right now. The Paralympians you mentioned use blades and wheelchairs, but these are devices that don't actually give them extra power. We also see some athletes whose devices are bionic. And what's the difference exactly? Uh, I suppose the simplest explanation of a bionic device is one that uses electronics in some way. Sometimes they have their own power. And in sports, this means you can improve your performance. So you mean bionic hands or arms? Yes, and bionic legs too. Now there are also wheelchairs which are controlled electronically by the user. So bionics is great news for patients who have lost the use of a limb. Absolutely. And the range of bionic devices the programme describes is growing all the time. 
Let me tell you about a woman whose life suddenly changed after a skiing accident. Her name's Amanda Boxtel. She lost the use of her legs and didn't walk for over 20 years. Now she can use a robotic structure which supports her body so that she can walk. The structure she uses is called an exoskeleton. Amanda used to be an athlete, but these days she works with an organisation that promotes bionic technology. And I believe there are already devices that help blind people to see and deaf people to hear. That's right. It seems as if there's no limit to the things bionic devices will be able to do. So don't forget to watch the programme on Channel 10 tonight at 9.30. Okay, well, so uh, this is very interesting, okay, do you think that um, uh, it could be, uh, it is difficult to use this kind of uh, devices, do you think um, for this kind of people it could be difficult to get used to it, for example, uh, recharging the batteries, um, uh, operating it properly, uh, getting used to it for the competition, carrying it, uh, what else? Um, for example, it says here, they might need to make sure it is charged, what I have said, or carry a backup battery, yes? Yeah? So they will have to get used to many things, for example, the battery, recharging the battery, carrying an extra charge, um, an extra battery, backup battery, um, but um, I consider it helps them, it will help them um, to um, have a better uh, performance, yes, when they are competing, yes, okay, um, so these devices are very, very, very interesting, yes, so number two, blades, Paralympic athletes, Progress in medical science, wheelchairs. Exercise um, three. Three F, two A, three E, four B, five G, six D, seven D. Okay, good. Um, well, uh, exercise five. Are you there? Choose the correct option. Subject for object. Two, object, five, both, who and which, and three, object. Yes, okay. Good. Well, on the other page, we're going to do exercises seven, eight, nine, eleven, and twelve. Yes, okay. Pause the video. I will dictate the answers. Okay, good. Which, who, two, which, three, who, when, where, whose, whose movement, yes, okay. Number eight, the doctor, who or that, two, I thought the treatment, which or that. The injections, which or that? The, the other patients, who or that? The hospital, which or that? Word, yes. Um, word is sala, eh? Okay. Um, I didn't like the food, which or that? Yes, okay. Good. Um, well, so that was eight. Exercise nine. I know someone who has bionic uh, cross the ocean and cross one and we are going to listen. Yes? Cross out one optional word in the sentence. Okay? We are going to check. Track 83. Unit 10B. 1. I know someone who has a bionic arm. 2. The hospital we go to isn't far away. 3. 
Cochlear implants are devices that improve hearing. Four. I think people who do Paralympic sports are amazing. Five. Wheelchairs are often used by patients whose legs are paralysed. Six. The doctor we saw in the film is a pioneer in bionics. Okay, so there were some sentences that you could leave, where you could leave out the who, which or where. Yes, is it clear? So, before going, before we go, yes, we are going to, I'm going to project, you can find these words uh, on the in internet too. Yes, but I really find them uh, very interesting for you to remember. Medical words, okay? So I want you to put the words, these words, um, I will add here, you need 10 medical words, yes, medical words, yes, vocabulary, medicine, vocabulary, de la A a la Z, ¿ok? Quiere decir que tenés que poner todas estas palabritas en tu libro de vocabulario, ¿ok? Are you ready? These words are very interesting. I like this kind of charts, yes, I like them, yes, there, there might be a program, yes, I, I think I need this, okay, this one, public health, treatment, yes, patient, try to look for all the work, yes, uh, life insurance, or insurance, hospital, solution, yes, okay, uh, what else, medicine, Health care, health policies, um, medical illness, clinic, sickness, yes, surgery, okay. I have another one, okay, this is very nice, yes, okay, so um, wish, yes, much, missing, okay, uh, tears, pain, crying, sick, you know, Feel sick, okay, headache, fever, yes, feel, um, feel sick, okay, blue, flu, oh, no, blue. flu, yes, uh, throat, yes, have a cold, yes, a pain in your body, yes, okay, um, what else? Yes, okay. Allergic, anti-allergic, yes, antibiotics, uh, vitamins, uh, what else? Um, Painkillers, yes, aspirin, yes, okay. So there are many uh, words from medicine and I want you to uh, have, yes, and put these words, the one on exercise two, yes, on your book, libro, cuaderno de vocabulario de la A a la Z. Yes? Cada una de ellas with one sentence. Okay? Is it clear? Please, please, please do it. Okay? Well, and we're going to finish with the correction on, uh, with, of exercises. Of exercises. 11 and 12. Yes? Okay? Injured. Yes? Okay? Heal, yes. Appointment, yes. Okay, I have to ask for an appointment with my doctor. Yes, hurt, number four, cure, number five, hurt, treatment, 
monitoring. Yeah, so the doctor monitors its, uh, his patients. Patients. Pain food, okay? Exercise 12. A surgeon, atención aquí, eh? Está muy bien esto. Yes, atención. A surgeon is a doctor who does operation in a hospital. Try to explain these words at home. An injection is something you get in your arm. An operating theater is a place where doctors or surgeons do operations. Yes, okay. A blood test is a medical procedure uh, which checks your blood for, for illnesses. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Yes. A and E, accident and emergency, is a hospital department where, uh, who, where people who have had accidents go. A, yes, a scan is a medical procedure that takes an image of inside of your bodies. An ambulance is, a, you know, everybody knows what is an ambulance, a vehicle, yes, that takes people who are uh, sick to hospital. Uh, stitches are pieces of thread, yes, that doctors put in your, in our bodies to close an injury. Yes, okay. Uh, a donor, yes, okay. A donor, yes. What's that? Yes. Uh, it's a person, yes, who agrees, un donante, yes, who agrees to give their body parts to science of medicine when they die, yes. Donador, yes, donante, yes, okay. Uh, then we have uh, crutches are long wooden sticks that people use to walk with after they have broken their leg. Mm, muletas. A surgery is a place where doctors help patients. Yes, okay. Uh, a radiographer is a person, is a person who does x-ray. A word is a person where patients in hospital lie in bed. Yes, okay. Um, la sala que te toca estar, yes, okay. A paramedic is a trained medical expert who goes in an ambulance to help people when they have been hurt in an accident. And first aid is something which people give injured people um, as soon as they have an accident. Yes, okay, first aid. Primeros auxilio. Okay, and a first aid kit, yes, it's a kit, yes, that you need to have at home just in case you have um, any kind of problem, yes, okay. Well, that was all, uh, only exercises, uh, pages 76, 77, 78, and 79, only the ones, uh, exercises that are in brackets. Mwah. Happy weekend, fourth year, see you next class, bye-bye.